I got this set of swedging tools for Christmas and uh, this is a cheaper set. This about, it was less than $20. If there's a set that's made by Spin that is about $80 that's comparable to this. It's made for HVAC or air conditioning tubing. So the letters that you see on here may or may not, the numbers may or may not match up to the tubing that you're doing because an HVAC guy, he measures the outside of the tubing, you know, the outside, and a plumber measures the inside of the tubing. So depending on what you buy it for, it can be the exact same looking tube and be called two different sizes. There's also issues with tubing, uh, the, the thickness of the tubing can be quite a bit different. You can see those two tubes are quite a bit different in sizes. Even in, these are both 3 8 but that, that thickness is different. And so when you swedge it open to it receive, when you flare it out like that to receive the other piece of pipe, depending on how thick the pipe is, it's gonna fit tight or loose. All right, so let's go ahead and flare one out for you. I'm just gonna lock this in the vise. These are little short pieces and this stuff gets really hot. So this will protect my hands. So you'll just get a, the right size. Now it's about speed. You want this to get really hot. So you want a full speed drill. Let it get hot and then push it in and out and you're done. push too hard, I don't know. Right, let's try again. There we go. Now let's see how this fits. I have found that some of them are too tight. So that's pretty tight. So I'm going to go ahead and I found that if it's too tight, if you just kind of ream it out a little bit, then it'll fit right up in there. And that gives you enough room for your solder to get in there. So you'd have to clean this good, but then they, as you can see, they fit together and it's up in there about that far. So pretty good sack, pretty good joint. Like that. Okay, and let's do, we'll do this size right here. This is thicker wall. So I know I'm going to have to ream it out a little bit. There you go. That one went up in there about that far. Then you can see here that I I did these, and this rigid stuff, well, where's the other half? This rigid stuff, I had to let it spin and get really hot before it would flare that out. Let's try a piece of this tubing. It's gonna be this 5.8 size. starts to get hot and discolor you can feel the resistance change and it slides right up in there. Okay so then this, I don't know how round this is, we'll see if it'll go up in there. Okay, I have to ream this out just a little bit. Like I said the spin ones might work better, I've never tried those. These are the only ones I've ever had. So, Okay so we're up in there that far, that's pretty good. Okay, so that's how these work. I just thought these were really interesting. I'd never seen them before, so I thought I would show them to you. I'll list them in the description in case you're interested in them. I'll put these and the spin variety in there. And as usual, thank you for watching.